pharmacists and uh, uh, other healthcare providers who help us all to take care of our patients. Thank you. So, Harold, uh, could you please uh, come to the podium and speak about cancer survivorship and the role of nurses? Thank you. 
when providing education. Learning about new oral chemotherapies? Ask your pharmacist to review a patient's magic medication profile for possible drug interactions. Developing templates in the EHR that will make it easier <coughs> to assess patients for side effects. All of the above. ASCO recommends, uh, recommends palliative care referral for all <coughs> patients diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. True or false?
Uh, as a nurse practitioner, I did primary care for 19 years before coming to oncology. And so I, I came, and when I was doing my interview, they were like, well, we really think that we need an oncology nurse to be working in survivorship. And I was saying, you know, I actually think if you're trying to transition them out of oncology into primary care, that perhaps I am the right person. And they apparently believed that line because I've been doing this now for seven years. And so I'm, I'm uh, trying to convince everybody, though, that this is where they want to go. So here we go. So let's start off. Oh, here we go. It's touchy. So I, um, I want you all to be able to, by the end of this talk, I'd love you to be able to say, like, ooh, I could fill in that spot in survivorship, even if that might be in an active treatment role that you're in now. But how could you incorporate it in? some survivorship in your role, and uh, looking at those accrediting bodies and why they're important, and then also looking at nursing strategies that we can do to help our survivors. So here's that question, you know, that question one there. Um, who are our cancer survivors? It's really anybody who's been diagnosed with cancer from the time of diagnosis through the balance of their life, but then survivorship is really addressing the unique needs of those cancers. 